Hello, my name is Josep Lluís Blasquez, and I work uh, in Catalonia Radio, which is the, the public uh, radio station from Catalonia. Well, I'm not exactly a journalist, uh, neither architect, um, I'm art historian, uh, but I've been working on radio all along my professional life, uh, about uh, 40 years in fact. Um, and I am in Catalonia Radio, in Catalonia Radio since um, 1989, so w when I left the university I was, um, I was already working on the radio and I focused my activities on cultural journalism and especially in architecture um, uh, during the last five years well, when I started to, to make small reports um, about the Catalan architects um, on a, uh, Catalunya Informació. Catalunya Informació is uh, our 24 is our 24 news channel. Um, then three years ago, in 2017, I started Perspectiva. Our general production on cultural journalism used to include uh, the, most, uh, the most relevant news about uh, architecture, such um, as the, the Pritzker winners or so. Um, but also, there is a particular interest um, on what the Catalan architects do, or events uh, which happen in Barcelona or Catalonia in general, uh, such as the Barcelona Building Construment, um, the European Bean Summit, uh, the Smart City Expo World Congress, and also the local prizes on architecture, and of course, of course, uh, the international prizes promoted from Barcelona, such uh, um, as the European Prize for Urban Public Space or the European Union Prize for Contemporary Architecture, the Mies van der Rohe Prize. Anyway, mm, we also used to speak about the, the most uh, relevant projects in urbanism, uh, buildings and, or landscape. Perspectiva is, um, uh, is my own radio program. <laughs> it's quite like uh, one more of my sons. Um, and it's especially focused on architecture, yes. But we also speak about art, design, uh, philosophy, or technology, um, whenever they are closely to architecture. Um, and and all, all along uh, those uh, three years, um, Perspectiva has been evolving uh, to a permanent production of short podcasts um, about the present news on architecture. Uh, so when something interesting happens, I used to publish a new podcast, no matter how many of them along the week. Uh, um, my, only time, my only limit uh, is my human time, okay? Uh, so nowadays, um, and, uh, I don't know about what uh, will happen in the future, but nowadays uh, the main program, uh, uh, one hour program, stays uh, and remains as a platform to talk about uh, more complex and deeper things, uh, interviews with architects and reports uh, about specific projects. Yes, I remember a podcast uh, about uh, Badia del Vallès. Uh, Badia del Vallès is a, is a commuter town um, of about uh, 13,000 inhabitants, um, which is placed at the edge of the metropolitan area of uh, Barcelona. Um, the students uh, of an architecture school in Catalonia, uh, the Escola Tècnica Superior d'Arquitectura del Vallès, the ETSEF, um, they started to study this commuter town um, and they created about uh, 30 projects and strategies to revive, revive the town. And um, my thoughts were uh, that this podcast um, could be interesting for the students of the school, of the school uh, themselves or, or the teachers even. Uh, so I was expecting no more than uh, a few hundreds of clicks uh, on that podcast. Uh, but the reality was uh, that lots of the inhabitants from uh, Badia del Vallès, uh, the city, they were highly interested on that podcast and it gave me 
a, a great feedback, a very unexpected. Yes, yes, uh, we really don't have control on it. Um, I remember a, a very long, a very long interview. <laughs> I um, I really did no addition on it because he's a very popular architect in Catalonia. He's uh, Mr. Oscar Tusquet. Uh, he's now about uh, 78 years old or so, um, and he's also a painter. Um, and uh, he used to have uh, very original ideas. He is brilliant what he, when he speaks. So I thought that um, this, this should be the kind of interview that uh, doesn't need to be promoted so much. Um, but it never reached a thousand of clicks. Um, however, um, all the podcasts uh, are online forever. Um, so... Um, I really don't care so much about the clicks um, in just the moment when I launch the podcast. Yeah, maybe someday um, people start to share the podcast uh, through the societal networks, and it becomes viral for a pair of days. We never know that. <laughs> it's mystery. It's a mystery. Uh, well, first of all, um, I would like to tell you the answer to that question that gave me Mr. Johanny Palasma. Um, it was two months ago. Uh, I recorded an interview uh, with Mr. Johanny Palasma just uh, uh, one week before the lockdown. And uh, that was one of my questions. Uh, I asked he, if he thinks that uh, now is a good moment to make the architecture understandable to the common people. Yeah? And Mr. Johanny Palasma told me that uh, <laughs> the most important thing right now is to make the architecture understandable to the architects themselves. <laughs> anyway, um, what, we, what he was trying to say is th uh, that the architecture I is very complex stuff. Yeah, and my idea based based um, on my experience by, by talking about architecture through the radio waves um, is that we really we really don't need to explain the architecture to the common people. It's not necessary. All we have to do, all we have to do, is um, trying to explain the architectural wave of understanding the world. Um, architecture as a language, um, as a mental structure, uh, as a philosophical position in front of the world. Um, and that is what the people should need uh, to develop themselves and grow as human beings. Mm, I really, mm, I'm, I'm really not sure uh, about uh, people needs uh, to know uh, about technical questions um, in architecture.